Coming up on Society TV, a burger and fries sure do sound good, but are you ordering trouble? And Tacoma remembers a hero and pledges to fight back even harder. These stories and more on today's edition of Society TV. Bringing you the latest news from across the American Cancer Society, this is Society TV. Hello everyone and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Andy Huff. Well, how does your state measure up when it comes to critical cancer issues? Chances are not very good. ACS CAN has released its 12th annual report titled, How Do You Measure Up? Now it ranks states based on 12 public policy issues that play a critical role in reducing cancer, such as cigarette taxes, indoor tanning restrictions, and funding for early detection programs. Massachusetts is the only state to have reached 75% of the benchmarks this year. You can read the full report at acscan.org. Well, Stand Up to Cancer star-studded telecast will light up screens everywhere on September the 5th, and so will Facebook. You can help set the world's biggest social network aglow by dedicating a virtual luminaria. Visit StandUpToFinishTheFight.org to make a $10 donation, and you'll receive a badge in your confirmation email that can be used on Facebook and Twitter during the telecast. And of course, it's not too late to join a viewing party, but time is running out. Again, visit StandUpToFinishTheFight.org to find that party closest to you. Some of the largest viewing parties are seeing the fruits of their labor. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania has the most people registered and will be featured during the live telecast. And the Orlando, Florida and Brookfield, Illinois viewing parties will be chatting with a celebrity during the first hour of their parties. This is the first year the Society is collaborating with Stand Up to Cancer and our first project together will be a $20 million research dream team focused on lung cancer therapies. If you're planning to eat out today, you may want to think twice. A new study led by an American Cancer Society researcher says people consume about 200 extra calories a day by eating in fast food or full service restaurants. Now that could add up to six extra pounds per year. Society researcher Ben Nguyen says eating out is contributing to the obesity epidemic, especially for African American adults who eat more calories from fast food restaurants than their Caucasian and Hispanic counterparts. She also writes that people eating out tend to order less nutritious food, often higher in saturated fat, sugar, and sodium. As long as we finish this, Dr. Gordy will never lose his fight against cancer. That's according to an American Cancer Society volunteer who joined family, friends, and survivors at Gordy Klatt's memorial service in Tacoma, Washington. The service filled nearly half the stadium at Mount Tahoma High School, and the mood was one of fervent urgency to finish the fight against cancer. In my four decades with the American Cancer Society, two decades as the CEO and two decades as a volunteer, there have been very few things that have transformed the fight against cancer and our organization as much as Gordy did through Relay for Life. Now, Gordy passed away on August 3rd from heart failure after battling stomach cancer. He's known as a hero for founding the Society's Relay for Life event. The American Cancer Society's own Vice President of Talent Development is making headlines. Kimberly Courier was recognized by Chief Learning Officer Magazine as a thought leader in her field. Courier is featured on the front cover and in a profile article that says she's been on the forefront of professionalizing learning and development in the nonprofit sector. Congratulations, Kimberly. And we'll leave you now with this video of Relay for Life staff launching the 2015 Relay season and marking the 30th anniversary of Relay all in 80s style. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Society TV is a production of your American Cancer Society and may not be reproduced or rebroadcast without expressed written permission.